Hey, welcome back. It's Derek Gainer. Today we're going to be playing more Final Fantasy. And this is on the PSP. We've obtained the pirate ship and we did that in the last episode. As you can tell, my level for all the characters have pretty much increased by a significant amount. Um, I am one of those people that way over levels. You know, the, there's that first kind of person, you know, they get to the first boss and the uh, game is like, hey, it's recommended to be level 20 to go against this guy. And he comes back a couple hours later, level 80. <laughs> a second guy. He's like, oh, that's just recommended, right? And he kicks. And then, you know, he beats the boss, and, you know, a little, with some problems, but not too much. So, as you have probably noticed, I have fixed the audio sync issue, I do believe, with this. It only took me till episode three to do that. Uh, so yeah, like I said, it was just run it through handbrake and make it a, a constant frame rate instead of a variable frame rate. Because for whatever reason, Adobe just doesn't uh, like variable frame rates. I don't know how handbrake uh, makes it a non-variable frame rate. Maybe it just adds several of the same frames back in to make it a full 30 frames a second or whatever. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I bet you I could Google it and figure it out. And so now we're coming down here and we gotta go talk to the elf prince, but I, I think he's sleeping. You know, it's time to go wake him up, the lazy bum. <laughs> So, you know, like, it looks like I'm pretty OP uh, against these wargs and, and wolves and whatnot. So, and this is where we're going to get some of the best weapons and armor and even the more magic. And you really... You really have to think about what kind of magic you're gonna buy and assign to each of your characters. I'm a big fan of healing magic and like Fyra and Frigra or whatever, or however you pronounce those. I'm not 100% sure, but you know what I'm talking about. Fyra, hold, yeah. Like Thundra, Fire and Thundra, I think the only ones I bought here. Just because I didn't see me using any of the other magics. Uh, I forgot how boring it is just to go watch and buy like magic and armor and stuff. It's not like we're battling, battling, battling. So... But I like I do see a purpose for like Noble Blaze, Dyra, Heal, and Kira. Kira. Kira, Kira. Hmm. Um, but you can only have so much per you know, like you can only have three spells of each level, I I think. So you gotta really you know pick you know it is three like you really gotta think about it like which one am i probably gonna use the most and i think later on i end up just getting no lol which is pretty decent so man that music in elf elfheim is pretty it's pretty relaxing we gotta give it to them. They did a great job. So, and... Yeah. 
Sleepra. I don't really think I use that, even though I thought I was going to, but yeah. Like, if there's magic in a specific level you don't think you're going to use, maybe the smart choice just isn't going to buy, but grinding at the Peninsula of Power definitely gives you more than enough gold. In fact, I found it really hard, I think, to run out of gold in this playthrough. There were a few times I did, but all I had to do was go back to the Peninsula of Power and grind for like uh, an hour or two. Sped it up so it only took a fraction of the time. And, you know. Oh, everybody. And then when you're buying armor, you gotta be careful that you're not gonna be buying something. Two things. One will be better than the other. Uh, just to equip the lower one and not realize you're not picking the right one. But I think that was more of a problem in the original NES version because it didn't have the auto-optimize function, which the GBA and the PSP version do have. I'm not sure about other versions. Uh, the Android version does, but until they fix the control scheme, I really wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Uh... <laughs> So, and I guess this episode beginning is just more or less me running around and buying stuff. But it's very important. I'm going to be using it later on when I'm going to go fight the Dark Elf. First, I got to go talk to the somebody in here. I can see. Um... Uh, healer hmm. that's where I'm like oh like that's where you learn like oh I gotta explore more and go find something to wake up the prince which is probably a really long quest <laughs> only long because of all the random encounters probably wouldn't take that long if you were to cut those all out which I don't think I did you know, I was trying not to cut out any unnecessary bits. Like, I cut out the grinding, and I was going to do a separate episode. Just sped up, proving that I did all the grinding and wasn't cheating. Except for speeding it up. However, as, it pro as the game progressed, I uh, ended up not doing very much grinding at all. Because I was OP in the beginning and I just gained enough experience points to keep ahead of the game for the most part so I didn't end up doing all too much of the grinding but I probably did a little bit if I needed gold I think it's been about a year since I recorded the gameplay I just really was waiting for a better place to do the voiceovers but I have to make do with what I have for now and not even these ogres can stop me one hit wonder Oh, uh, it's a dead end, and it's not going to be the last time I'll make that mistake. And the Black Mage, he's pretty strong, but he has no hit points, no defense, and no real regular attack. If you guys watch Pro Jared's play, any, what was it, Joof? <laughs> or... Whatever, like whatever he named his black mage, uh, he just didn't do so well, did he? 
Took up a while. To even get attacks and like the triple digits that were physical attacks because the magical attacks for the most part ended up doing really, really well. And we're going to be going down, making sure we have everything optimally equipped just in case. And it's time to enter, what is that, the marsh cave, fire cave, no not fire, like poison, poison cave? Why didn't they cut this out? Oh, that's why, it didn't take too long. And now we're gonna jump in. There's a, probably a really good chance that we will not be finishing this in this episode. Like I said, I'm not quite, I don't really remember. Well, so I'm going through this just like you are. Uh, and of course I start out going the wrong way because it had been a while since I had last played Final Fantasy because like I said in the last episodes, I didn't get very far in those playthroughs because I just wasn't happy with the quality and then with this one I was just, just like you know that's it I'm done just put it out send it <laughs> and then I figured out how to fix the problem I was having with the audio and the video not being synced up and it was uh, Adobe not being able to handle uh, variable frame rates which it's kind of weird because like I've said before, Sony Vegas handles it quite well. And I've been wanting to move over to Sony Vegas and just buy the license and be done with it. Because I'm pretty sure I've spent a few hundred dollars on my Adobe Premiere uh, subscription. And it's only $20 a month, but that adds up quite quickly. <laughs> I'd rather have just bought a license in the first place. Like, I remember when I was in middle school, they had an older version of Adobe Premiere, and they owned the license. Like, it wasn't a monthly renewal thing. They had a lifetime license for that software. And that's ultimately why I decided to go with uh, Adobe Premiere over Sony Vegas because I already knew how to use Adobe Premiere and see these like all your zombies and ghouls are very susceptible to that guy uh, healing but it uh, to them it's more of an attack than anything this ends up doing quite a bit of damage Especially when you get the stronger Daya attacks. Well, it's not an attack. It's like a cure for the undead. I don't know. So, like, it, it works quite well against these, uh, the undead that you run into here. And it's time to run back down. I wish you could run in the overworld. Like you can here, but I guess it makes sense. So. Oh, I remember these great oozes being a bit of a pain. Or not. Maybe it's a different one. Uh, some kind of, like one of the oozes. Or maybe I'm thinking of the second Final Fantasy. Where that just takes a lot of effort to kill them. And they don't really attack for all too much. But. Okay, since I was next to the exit, I figured I might as well exit and rest up really quick before taking on the real part of this dungeon cave. 
I was thinking about doing a let's play of uh, Game Dev Tycoon. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but that sounds pretty interesting to me to do that. I would ask you what you all think, but there's like 21 of you. I'm not sure if anybody actually would respond and with the suggestion. Yeah, that's a lot of skeletons, but Daya should, or Dia should take care of them, and the Fyra should take care of that crawler. See, it's all about strategy. Uh, strategically pick which enemies you're gonna attack with wit, with what, which, uh, kind of an attack. And same thing, you're just gonna end up using Daya and fire run it should take care of everything if it's the fire run usually <laughs> but you know it's not a bad idea to hedge your bet against the undead with uh dia and i'm backtracking oh no guys i'm lost oh uh, maybe it's the green slimes that are a pain in this one or that was definitely could be the second uh final fantasy yeah, that's what it's looking like. Which so far, the second Final Fantasy does, isn't terrible. I'm really enjoying it. Again, I'm still backtracking. I must, yep, I was checking every room systematically to make sure I wasn't going to miss anything. And we got to come back here later on. Now, any game ways. Anyways, later on in the game, because we get a key to some of the rooms that are locked. So, but it doesn't take, didn't take very long, so. Now, yep, and there's the right room that I was supposed to go in. Supposed to go even further down underground. I wonder how that care, like how they feel about being underground. I'm not, uh afraid of being underground i'm not claustrophobic and i'm not scared of heights i'm just scared of falling <laughs> like i'm up there and i'm just fine but i get a little too close to the edge and i'm a little worried that i'm gonna slip off a roof or i don't know fall through the roof <laughs> i thought you know i thought you were supposed to raise the roof not fall through it <laughs> Man, the spite music just brings me back <laughs> all the way to several years ago when I first played Final Fantasy. I grew up with an N64, so I, you know, I wasn't really familiar with some of these games until I found the internet. Well, I didn't find it, but we finally got internet in the house, and I learned about these old classics and they look like fun and I started playing them and I've been a big fan of uh, RPGs ever since. Although I do like uh, action adventure games like uh, The Legend of Zelda, those are really fun. That might have been, a, nope, maybe it is, could be the gray uses that are resistant to magical attacks but they, you know, they're quite vulnerable to, like, physical attacks, and come on, move, there we go. I've tried to do live voiceovers, but it doesn't always quite work for me, because I can't always <laughs> play and think at the same, or play and talk at the same time. I guess if I were to practice, it would probably get a lot better, but it is what it is. Yeah, those guys. Weak to physical attacks, somewhat tanky against magical attacks, and completely resistant to die because they're not undead but they 
Oh, what is... I know what demon means, but what's a piso? Pecco. Pico? Eh. Did we finally get the odd? Yes, we got the crown. We can go take it to the Dark Elf and go beat him. Hope you guys like, subscribe. Peace out.